Welcome to Tri Church Worship. As we worship, we join with all who are worshiping online, over the phone, and in person. Thank you for joining us today. We are the church together. Let us breathe deep and worship our living and loving God. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead going to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethpage and Bethany at the place called the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of the disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a cult that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? Just say this, The Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as Jesus had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? They said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they said, Jesus on it. As Jesus rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As Jesus was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. Jesus answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, Jesus entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along his way. Bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross so that, joined in his death and resurrection, we enter into life with you. Through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Jesus is coming, pave the way with branches. Jesus is coming, Hosanna. Jesus is coming, pave the way with branches. Jesus is coming, Hosanna. Hosanna. Jesus is coming, Hosanna, to the Prince of Peace. Hosanna, Jesus is coming, Hosanna, to the Prince of Peace. Release for the captives, pave the way with branches. Release for the captives, Hosanna. Release for the captives, pave the way with branches. Release for the Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus is coming, Hosanna, to the Prince of Peace. Hosanna, Jesus is coming, Hosanna, to the Prince of Peace. Hope for the downtrod, pave the way with branches. Hope for the downtrod, Hosanna. Hope for the downtrod, pave the way with branches. Hope for the downtrod, Hosanna, Hosanna. Jesus is coming, Hosanna, to the Prince of Peace. Hosanna, Jesus is coming, Hosanna, to the Prince of Peace. Land for the land. 
landless Pave the way with branches Land for the landless Hosanna Land for the landless Pave the way with branches Land for the landless Hosanna Hosanna Jesus is coming Hosanna To the Prince of Peace Hosanna Jesus is coming Hosanna To the Prince of Peace Debts are forgiven Pave the way with branches Debts are forgiven Hosanna Debts are forgiven Pave the way with branches Debts are forgiven Hosanna Hosanna Jesus is coming Hosanna To the Prince of Peace Hosanna Jesus is coming Hosanna To the Prince of Peace In the name of God, who makes a way in the wilderness, walks with us and guides us in our pilgrimage. Amen. Holy One, we confess that we have wandered far from you. We have not trusted your promises. We have ignored your prophets in our own day. We have squandered our inheritance of grace. We have failed to recognize you in our midst. Have mercy on us. Forgive us and turn us again to you. Teach us to follow in your ways. Assure us again of your hope and help us to love our neighbor. Amen. Beloved in Christ, the word draws near to you and all who call out to God shall be saved. In Jesus, God comes to you again and again and gathers you under wings of love. In Jesus' name, your sins are forgiven. God journeys with you and teaches you how to live in love. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray. Everlasting God, thank you for this day that you have made. We rejoice in it. We rejoice in you. Guide this time of worship. Awaken us to your presence and love. Grant us everlasting desire to know you more. We come to worship you. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now when Jesus returned, the crowd welcomed him, for they were all waiting for Jesus. Just then there came a man named Jairus, a leader of the synagogue, he fell at Jesus' feet and begged Jesus to come to his house, for he had an only daughter, about 12 years old, who was dying. As Jesus went, the crowds pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years, and though she had spent all she had on physicians, no one could cure her. 
She came up behind Jesus and touched the fringe of his cloak, the fringe of his clothes, and immediately her hemorrhage stopped. Then Jesus asked, who touched me? When all denied it, Peter said, Master, the crowds surround you and press in on you. But Jesus said, someone touched me, for I noticed that power had gone out of me. When the woman saw that she could not remain hidden, she came trembling and falling down before Jesus. She declared in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. Jesus said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well, go in peace. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the leader's house to say, your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher any longer. When Jesus heard this, he replied, do not fear, only believe, and she will be saved. When Jesus came to the house, he did not allow anyone to enter with him except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and mother. They were all weeping and wailing for her. But Jesus said, Do not weep, for she is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at Jesus, knowing that she was dead. But Jesus took her by the hand and called out, Child! get up. Her spirit returned and she got up at once. Then Jesus directed them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astounded, but Jesus ordered them to tell no one what had happened. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Earlier in Luke chapter 8, we find Jesus' power revealed in the stilling of the storm, in the casting out of demons, a whole legion of demons. And in today's gospel, we encounter once again Jesus as one who has the power to heal and raise people from the dead, as Jesus raised the widow of Nan's only son in Luke 7. A few verses prior to our gospel text from Luke 8 for today, people are overcome with fear of Jesus. They're so overcome with fear of Jesus that they ask him to leave. And he does. And here our gospel text for today, just a few verses later than the previous one, it says this, Jesus returned and the crowd welcomed him, for they are waiting for him. In Greek, the word for waiting, which I'm not able to pronounce correctly, means to be expectant of, to expect, to wait for. They are expecting Jesus and he arrives and they welcome him. In our processional gospel, the gospel at the beginning of this worship service, Jesus tells the disciples what to expect, and they find it just as Jesus had indicated. They find the colt, the donkey. The people ask the question, why are you untying it? Just as Jesus said they would. And they answer as Jesus told them to. They did what Jesus expected. They said, the Lord needs it. And so Jesus utilizes the donkey, takes the path down the Mount of Olives, which is the hill opposite of Jerusalem. They spread their cloaks as if greeting a king. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. 
People come with great expectation. Jesus' entry into Jerusalem is filled with possibility. Perhaps they wondered if Jesus, this Messiah King, would be the one to free them from Roman rule. The people come with expectation. They're expecting the reign and the rule of God. They're expecting the kingdom or kingdom of God. They're expecting God's power and presence. Their hope was riding on a borrowed donkey. And in Luke 8, we have a brave woman who had been dealing with health problems for 12 years, placing her hope, her expectation on Jesus. The brave woman was in great need and reached out with expectation, open to possibility despite years of disappointment. Not only was the woman in great physical need for her medical condition also kept her from fully participating in society for she was considered unclean. She finds healing, restoration, and life in Jesus. While she is being restored, Jairus' daughter dies, and Jairus is told not to bother the teacher further. But Jesus doesn't agree with what they're telling Jairus. Jesus says to Jairus, do not fear, only believe, and she will be saved. The people are weeping, and Jesus says, do not weep, for she is not dead, but sleeping. And according to the text, they laugh at Jesus because they know she is dead. But Jesus takes her hand and says, child, get up. Her spirit returns and she is brought back to life and gets up. Then Jesus directs them to give her something to eat. After Jesus rises from the dead, he too will eat. Jesus will suffer, die, and rise, and the disciples can hardly believe that Jesus is resurrected. As it says in Luke 24, while in their joy they were disbelieving, and while still wondering, Jesus said to them, have you anything here to eat? They gave Jesus a piece of broiled fish. Jesus took it and ate it in their presence. Just as Jairus' daughter rises and eats, so too does Jesus after he is resurrected. Jesus rode a donkey down the Mount of Olives and people came with expectation, with hope and wondering. The woman in need expected that Jesus could heal her. She hoped and believed she was fully restored to life. Jairus came to Jesus expecting that Jesus could heal his daughter and Jesus goes further and raises her from the dead. So too may we enter this week with expectation, with openness and curiosity. Now we know that God is not a vending machine. We don't just pray and ask for what we want or think we need and it just falls out of the sky every single time. We know that God is not a vending machine, and we know that God asks us to ask. God asks us to believe, to have faith, to trust. May God meet you in reality this day and every day, in belief and in unbelief. In the midst of your day-to-day -day living, may you know and encounter Christ there. As we enter into Holy Week, what are your expectations? Are you expecting to encounter God in a new way? Are you curious and open to the possibility of how Jesus might be revealed throughout this week? Even if you're not, I pray that God would surprise you, would surprise us. Let us pray. Oh God, thank you for being gracious and merciful. 
full of steadfast love and compassion. Awaken us to your presence, love and grace. Transform our lives and grant us courage to follow you. Give us courage to turn to you, creator, and remember your love. Give us courage to listen and talk with you, Jesus, who is the living word. Give us courage, O Spirit, and guide our actions. We need you so. Amen. close to the heart of God, we offer these prayers for the church, the world, and all in need. We pray for the church, called to follow Jesus in the way of the cross. Make us unflinching servants of the gospel. Deliver us from hardship as we confront the forces of injustice and practice radical compassion. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For the earth and all its inhabitants created in love, train us to recognize your divine goodness in the world around us. Rouse us in a reverence for creation that we take greater care of its resources. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For those in positions of authority, 
called to lead with integrity and compassion, supply them with courage and vulnerability when challenged with new ideas. Deliver them from fear that limits imagination and impedes justice. Merciful God, hear our prayer. For those who suffer, waiting expectantly for mercy and consolation, accompanying those who feel abandoned or betrayed, defend those who are wrongly accused, and embrace those who are incarcerated or detained. Heal those who are ill. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For Christians around the world preparing this week to journey with Jesus to the cross, reveal to us once again the earth-shaking power of humble service, unmerited forgiveness, and sacrificial love. Lead us all from death to life. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We remember those who have died, who are commended into your hands. Remember us when you come into your kingdom and prepare a place for each of us with you in paradise. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Accept the prayers we bring, O God, on behalf of a world in need for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God our thanks and praise. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup, gave thanks and gave it to all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Our Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the body of Christ given in love for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace this day and always. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus, bread of life, we have received from your table more than we could ever ask. As you have nourished us in this meal, now strengthen us to share your love in the world. Amen. You are what God made you to be, created in Christ Jesus for good works, chosen as holy and beloved, free to serve your neighbor. 
God bless you, that you may be a blessing in the name of the holy and life-giving Trinity. Amen. You are loved. Go in peace. Live out God's love. With God's help, we will. Lay low, 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 lay low